Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about multicast delegates in C-Sharp. I'll explain what multicast delegate is and how we can use it in a program. We will also learn in which situation it is best fit to use. In my previous videos, I explained about delegate, what it is and how we can implement in a program. We also discussed how we can use delegate with named methods, anonymous methods and lambda expression. In another video, I explained about built-in generic type delegates like func, action, and predicate delegate. If you haven't seen those videos yet, I request you to watch and then come to this video in order to understand it better. The link of those videos you will find somewhere at the upper right corner and I will also mention it in the description section of this video. Okay, before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. What is multicast delegate? Multicast delegate is nothing but a linked list of delegates called an invocation list that can have reference to multiple methods. It helps us to invoke all reference methods by a single call itself. Okay, now we understood that multicast is a linked list of delegates, but how we can add delegates into the invocation list? Okay, so there are two ways. Either we add it explicitly or implicitly. For adding delegates explicitly into the invocation list, we need to use delegates combine method, where we need to pass the delegate list like delegate 1, delegate 2 and so on. We can also pass the array of delegates. Okay, so that's the one way. Second way is to use the plus operator or plus equal to operator. Okay. If you see the example over here, adding delegate using plus operator. Here what we need to do? First we define the delegate. Public delegate via my, my delegate string str. So and then we have given this delegate 1, delegate 2, delegate 3, delegate 4 as an instance of this my delegate. And delegate 1 we have assigned method 1. Delegate 2 assigned method 2, delegate 3 assigned method 3. Right? We have given the reference of these methods for each delegates 1, 2 and 3. Now we are going to use this plus operator for creating an invocation list. So delegate 4 equal to delegate 1 plus delegate 2 plus delegate 3. Right? So all delegate 1, 2, delegate 3 now it's has reference in the delegate 4 itself. Okay. So basically we have created an invocation list. And reference is stored into the delegate 4. Okay. Another way is adding delegate using the plus equal operator. Here, what we need to do, we have this delegate, public delegate, while my delegate that accepts a string input. And then my delegate, my delegate is equal to method 1. Here, we have given method 1 to this my delegate. And then for the next delegate, we are going to use plus equal to. And then we are giving this method 2 what we are doing over here we are just adding method 2 into this my delegate okay and again my delegate is equal to plus equal method 3 so basically we have only one reference i mean one instance of this my delegate but it is having method 1 method 2 and method 3 so indirectly it is having three delegates right okay so that's the one way. Similarly, if we want to remove delegate from the invocation list, we can either do it explicitly or implicitly. In explicit way, we will have to use this remove, remove method of the delegate and pass the source which is nothing but the invocation list and the delegate that we want to remove, right? So this is the explicit way for removing the delegate from the invocation list. If we go for the implicit, then we can have two options. Either we go for the you know minus operator or minus equal to operator. So if you see the example removing delegate 2 using the minus operator, we just need to write delegate 1 minus delegate 2 plus delegate 3. So delegate 1 and delegate 3 is being added and minus, I mean uh, minus delegate 2 indicates that delegate 2 is getting removed right from this invocation list. Okay. Another way is my delegate minus equal method 2. What does it mean? If you see here right hand side where we have this adding delegate using plus equal to operator right so in we have added this method 1 method 2 and method 3 now i just want to remove this method 2 so then what we need to do we just need to use this minus equal operator and equal to method 2 
So this my delegate won't be having reference now of the method two. Okay. So as you know that multicast delegates, whatever the delegates we are having in this invocation list, right? So it is going to get executed in the sequential order in which order they have added. Okay. So let's suppose if we get some error, right, occurring uh, during the execution of the list, then what will happen? Then exception is thrown. Then we will have to, you know, capture those exception and the process accordingly. Examples of multicast delegate. Here we are going to see some of the examples of multicast delegate in C sharp. Let's switch to Visual Studio and see it in action. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio. I have created multicast delegate demo project, which is nothing but a console application. It has one file program.cs. So in program.cs file, we have class program and that we have main method, which is an entry point for this application. Okay. So here uh, we have defined three methods. Method one that accepts input parameter as a string and based on that it is just printing this information into the console window. Method two and method three, it's both are static method that accepts input parameters as a string and there is a <clears throat> no return type. It means it's a void. Okay. Method one also having the void as a return type. So now I have defined this delegate so that it, it could point to this method one, method two and method three. So if you see the signature of this delegate, we have input parameter as string str and return type is void. So we could successfully point to this method, these method, right? Method one, method two, method three. Okay. So come to the main, me main method. Okay. Here I have just, you know, printed that I'm just going to execute this multicast delegate demo for the example one. Okay. So here what I have done, I have created an instance of this my delegate, delegate one, two, three and four, right? And I have instantiated this program class and I have given the instance name, instance name of this program class is program. Okay. Now I'm just going to assign method. Okay. To each delegate like delegate one, two, three, right? In delegate one, I have written delegate one is equal to new my delegate program dot method because method one is not a static method. So we need to use this uh, class instance name dot method one. That's what I have written program dot method. Method two and method three are nothing but static method. So we could write directly method two and method three. So basically what I'm doing over here delegate one, two and three we have assigned to method so that it successfully reference to this method when this delegate is going to get executed okay and now i have created this multi cast delegate multi cast delegate okay so delegate four basically what is doing delegate one plus delegate two plus delegate three so here we are creating invocation list using this plus operator okay so now delegate one two three will be as a part of invocation list and we have given the reference as a delegate for okay now i just want to see uh, how many you know items are there in this uh, multicast delegate so how we can know that so we can use this get invocation list method so we just need to write delegate four dot get invocation list so it will be give me delegate array so i have captured this information in delegate instance okay now i'm just you know printing how many subscribe delegates in this invocation list delegate four right so delegates dot length i just wanted to print those things okay now i have just written this delegate for learning multicast delegate with an example these are the thing after removal of method two for my delegate instance so basically what i'm doing over here i am just invoking delegate four and i have passed this string value learning multicast delegates with an example okay now next statement i have just you know printed this after removal of method 2 from my delegate instance so here what i am doing over here delegate 4 is equal to delegate 1 minus delegate 2 plus delegate 3 what i am doing here i am removing this delegate 2 from this invocation list right that's what i have written delegate 1 minus delegate 2 plus delegate 3 
right so now i just wanted to see okay after deletion of delegate 2 how many you know how many items are there in this invocation list right so again i have used this get invocation list method i just call that so it will be give me this delegate array and then i am just going to see how many items are there in that array so delegates dot length and that's what i have printed into this console window okay and then i am just calling delegate for learning multicast delegates with an example please note that over here here i am just going to execute delegate for after removing the delegate two. so only delegate one and delegate three will be applicable for you know as a part of invocation list right so so ideally it should you know call to delegate one and delegate three in sequence load and delegate one points to method one and delegate three points to method three okay and then i am just you know capturing those things into this console window and seeing those things okay let me execute this let me click this start button okay now if you see uh, the output got appear into this console window so here the multicast delegate demo example one that is the you know a statement that i have printed into the console window and then count of subscribed delegates in invocation list three the first time i have you know uh, added all three delegates delegate one two and three right into this invocation list so i just printed how many there how many items are there into this invocation list so here the third so first method got called and it got printed printed from method one which is nothing but a non-static method and this is the string that we have passed learning multicast delegate with an example again the message is coming from the method two which is nothing but a static method and this is the string value that we have passed to this delegate right again from the message from the method three and then this is the string value now i have removed method two so i just printed after removal of method two from my delegate instance and then we have just printed this count how many items are there into this invocation list right so we have deleted the method two i mean the delegate two right so invocation list is having currently only two items so that's what it is getting you know depicted as a two items now the method one got you know called and this uh message came from the method one only that's what printing from method one non-static learning multicast delegate and again message from the method three so only two methods got you know executed as a part of multicast call right because we have only two delegates into this invocation list because we have you know removed this method two from this my delegate instance okay so that's the output how that's the output you know we wanted to see and we saw that it is uh, working as expected so here we are going to see example number two where we wanted to use this plus equal to operator for assigning delegates into the multicast right so if you see here this is the program one class where we have this main method right again here we have three methods method one method two and method three method one is the non static method and method two and method three are uh, static method basically all these methods accepts one input string and then return type is void if you see uh, this uh, delegate signature also it just accept one input as a string and then return type is a void so my delegate can point to uh, these three methods method one method two and method three okay so here what i have done i have just you know created this instance of this program one class okay so program one is equal to new program one okay now i have assigned my delegate as an instance of this uh, my delegate you know delegate uh, is equal to program one dot method one so basically this is the non-static method so i have you know uh given the reference with the help of instance of this class so program one dot method one and here for the second time i am just going to use this plus equal to operator for assigning i mean for adding uh delegates into this invocation list so here plus equal to method two and then my delegate plus is equal to method three so there there, there will be three delegates into this my delegate instance right so I have just you know call this my delegate 
okay so that and also i have passed this as a uh, pass this value as a string learning multicast delegate with an example okay and then at the next statement i have removed this method too from this my delegate instance okay so for that i have used minus equal to operator for removing an item from the invocation list right and then at the last i have called this my delegate and then passing this input string okay but this time it is just going to get referenced only the method one and method three because we have removed this method two right okay now let me execute this program okay so here is the output we are seeing into the console window right so uh, this is the same output what we have achieved using this plus and minus operator right now here we have achieved this output with the help of plus equal to and minus equal to operator right for adding the delegates into the invocation list and the removing the delegate from the invocation list so if you see the first time it got called you know three methods method one method two method three but after removal of method two it just you know uh, got printed method one and method three so all these messages is coming from the the, this method printing from the method one non-static it is coming okay. so here we are going to see the example number three so i just you know try to replicate the real time you know scenario where we can use this multicast delegate so for that i have created one console application multicast delegate demo okay so if you see i have created one interface i notify right and it has one method notify accident that accepts one input a string str location okay and I have created two classes, police station class and uh, uh, this one, hospital emergency ward class. And if you see this police station dot ch, here this police station class is implementing this interface I notify. And once this I notify is getting implemented into the police station, we have provided this definition of this notify accident method. So basically in this notify accident it is just you know receiving this location and then printing this statement like the police was notified about an accident that happened at this particular location that location we are going to get at the wrong time okay similarly in hospital emergency ward class itself i have implemented this i notify interface okay and similarly i have implemented this notify accident method right so here also we are passing st str location as an input parameter and based on that we are printing this statement into this console window okay come to the main class main application class so this is the program 3 which is a class right that we treat as a main class because it has the main method right here what i have done i have created one instance uh, I have you know I have defined this delegate public delegate void my delegate string str location so this my delegate accepts one input a string str location and return type is void okay so here what I have done in main method I have created this instance for hospital emergency ward so I have written I notify notify emergency ward is equal to new hospital emergency ward similarly for the police station and I have given for police station notify police station right as an instance of this interface. So in my delegate, I have assigned notify emergency ward dot notify accident. So basically, we are going to assign. I mean, we have assigned this notify accident with the help of this interface. So with the help of interface, I'm just going to call this notify accident method, right? Similarly. If you see here i have added another method with the help of plus equal to operator right so notify police station dot notify accident so what will happen so this my delegate is having now two delegate reference the first one from the notify emergency ward dot notify accident the second one is the notify police station dot notify accident right and I am just going to call this my delegate and giving this location like MG road to Goregaon Mumbai. What will happen? Suppose if if some accident happened in this particular location. So we just wanted to notify 
emergency ward of hospital and also the police station right so i have called this my delegate and pass this input parameter as a string which is nothing but location over here mg road to goregaon mumbai right so what will happen it just go and call this notify this emergency ward of hospital department right similarly it will notify the police station okay let me execute this and see the output let me click this start button okay so output got appear into this console window if you see here the both method got called the hospital emergency ward was notified about an accident that happened at location mg road to goregaon mumbai similarly police was notified about the accident that happened at location this one right so accident happened and it got notified to all the listeners in this case hospital emergency ward and the police station right so both are notified so that's the use of the multicast delegate right with the one call it just you know notifying different entities event implementation using multicast delegate here we are going to see how we can use multicast delegate for implementing event so as you know event works on source and listener methodology so interested listeners subscribe to the source and thus receive messages whenever the source raises events to its entire listener in dotnet events are implemented using multicast delegates so there are three steps by which we can implement event using multicast delegate so number 1 define a public delegate for the event outside any class boundary we need to write public delegate void event delegate that accepts two input object sender and event arc c okay second step is we need to define a class to raise the event in this class we need to define a public event using event keyword and public delegate right so public event event delegate my event the third step is define a class to receive the event so for that we need to write an event handler method in this class this class is usually the main application of the class that has the main method okay so here in this step what we are going to do we are going to do subscription of event handler method and then we are going to provide this event handler method definition that basically is going to handle the event right okay so let's see all those things in visual studio so here we are in visual studio so for implementing uh, event uh, using the multicast delegate i have created this console application multicast delegate demo and it has one class event implementation using multicast delegate.cs in this class in as, as a part of a step one we need to define a public delegate for the event outside of any class boundary so i have defined this public delegate public delegate void event delegate object sender and event argument c these event delegates uh, accepts two input object sender and event arc c and then return type is the void and if you notice over here i have defined this outside of any class boundary so it is just under this name space it is not under any class boundary right so that is the number step one that we have accomplished now coming to step two we need to define a class to raise the event So for that we need to define a public event using the event keyword and public delegate so if you see here i have one class my event argument right and it is inheriting event arc class and here i have defined this event using this event keyword and this event delegate which is nothing but a public delegate right and i have given this event name as a my event and in a start method i am just you know calling this my event right and i have passed this this as an object and then event arguments is nothing but here as a null right so that is the step 2 in step 3 we need to define a class to receive the event basically this class is nothing but a main class okay because it has main method so in this main method i have instantiated this my event arguments class okay so i have created instance for this class obj my event args right using the new operator and then i am just you know assigning this my event plus equal to on event so basically on event which is a method and we are treating as a you know uh, method that is assigning to this my event delegate right 
event delegate my event plus is equal to on event and then this class is having this start method so i'm just you know calling this a start method so what a start method will do it will call this my event and my event event delegate is having this on event method reference so this is the on event method right so basically what it will do it is just going to get printed this message into this console window message from event handler method okay so if you notice in these three steps only we have implemented the event so okay okay just program let me click this start button okay here it is the output event implementation using multicast delegate if you see message from event handler method right so event handler method uh you know got executed and message it is coming from that method itself okay so we have seen how we can use this multicast delegate for implementing event right so that is the one huge case where we can consider multicast delegate when to use multicast delegate there are multiple scenarios where multicast delegate can be used number one multicast delegate can be used to inform multiple objects whenever a change has happened to another object each delegate can then update its own state or perform relevant action in response so that's the number one huge case second huge case would be the event implementation third huge case we can consider multicast delegate for implementing chain of responsibility pattern and last but not the least uses of multicast delegate in observer pattern where it simplifies the code so these are the basic scenarios where we can opt multicast delegate right so now that brings me to end of my session to sum up we looked at what multicast delegate is and how to add or remove delegates to and from the invocation list we validated our learning with examples we also saw how to implement event using multicast and finally we discussed about the huge case where we can use multicast delegate right so if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thank you see you next video